Hi, my name is Joy McDonnell. In this video, I'm gonna give you tips for making a plushie, including how to make a loving little face. I'm using simplicity pattern number 8044, so let's get started. If you're working with a furry fabric, it will most likely have a nap. Brush your hand over the fabric to see which direction the nap goes. Once you've determined the direction, as you work with your pattern pieces, make sure that all of your pattern pieces are going in the same direction. The arrows on the patterns should follow the direction of the nap in the way that you would like it to fall on your stuffy. If you're using furry fabric for your friend, you're going to have a lot of extra hair on the table as you go along. You can just cut like regular, but when you're done cutting, use a vacuum hose to clean up all of the mess and let the piece just go right into the hose of the vacuum to clean off all those extra hairs. Clean as you go, and then you'll find that after you've got all the fur removed, you can lay out your piece and work with it and see the edges very clearly. To make the seams easy to sew, you wanna remove a little bit of the fur from the edge of the fabric. So you can do this by laying the, the fabric down with the right side on your cutting surface and just trim a little bit of the hair away. You're looking at about a half of an inch of hair that you wanna remove or fur that you wanna remove from this area so that when you go to sew, you're making a nice clean seam without all of that fuzz in your sewing machine. So you can see I've cleaned off this edge, about a half of an inch, and I'll do the same to the other side, and then pin the two pieces together, just like you normally would, working any extra hairs down into the seam. And then we'll go to the sewing machine to sew this together. There's nothing special that I'm doing at the machine, just sewing like regular, and you can see that the fabric comes right out, and here's my seam on the other side, and you can see that when this is open, you can't even see the seam. If you're working with particularly thick fabric, you might have some bulky seams. In these cases, you might wanna use a hammer to hammer down that seam just a little bit and make it nice and smooth, or you can use a rolling pin. This is one that I have from my kitchen, and I just roll out that seam to make it nice and flat. Darts are V's that are in your pattern. You'll put the edges together and then you wanna mark about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And I've done this with chalk and a ruler. And once I have my mark, I'll give that a quick little pin and then over to the machine. And I wanna sew from the raw edge up towards the dart and let the machine go right off the edge. This will give me some dimension in my project. It'll create a little bit of a pocket so that as I work with the leg or the arm, that will make it have some form. It is important to clip the curves. You wanna clip right up to the seam, but not through the seam. You'll do this on inner curves and you'll do this on outer curves. This will help the fabric curve nicely when you turn the piece right side around. The stuffing's really important. Take the stuffing out of the bag and really fluff it up before you actually start stuffing it into your plushie. So here you can see I have fluffed out that stuffing and I'm gonna push it into one of the, this is one of the ears of the dog that I'm making. And as I'm going, I'm feeling for how that feels on the outside. And then I wanna feel how those little pieces move so I know exactly how much stuffing to put in there. To fit the eyes and the nose, I'm gonna go back to the pattern. I've pinned the dart back into the pattern piece and formed that right around the top, the face of my stuffy. And I'm gonna put a pin where the eyes and the nose go. I'll just tear this pattern away here around the pin and then I can see that I've got the places marked. I'm just flipping the pattern back over to the other side and sculpting that around the stuffy and then getting the placement of the eyes and the nose, and you can see he's starting to take shape. I'm gonna place the safety nose in place. I'm gonna go ahead and puncture a hole right through the seam, and then slide the screw part of the safety nose through the head, and I'm gonna flip it over. I've gotta move that stuffing around, 
and put the washer on. This takes a little bit of pressure. You gotta give it a good snap and then position the nose right where you want it. Now that we've got the nose in place, we wanna do the eyes. I'm gonna to choose to use a button. This button has a little shank on the back. I've got a needle, a little bit longer needle than normal and thread with a knot on the end. I've gone ahead and doubled that thread. I'm going to start from the front of the eye, right by where I put that pin, and go ahead and reach through the back. Now I want the stuffing to be there because the stuffing is gonna help me to create a little bit of sculpture as I put this eye on. So leaving a little bit of the thread in the front, I'm gonna come back up through the front and catch some of the stuffing as I'm going here. Now once I've got these pieces in here, I'm gonna go ahead and take out that pin and then I can add my button and then position that first stitch that I wanna do. And just capture a little bit right there on the front of the fabric. And um, put a few of these stitches in. I moved forward in the video, but you've made a few of these stitches. And then I wrap around the button, come back through the shank of the button behind, and go back through the head. And what I want to do here is capture again some of that stuffing because as I pull on the eye, you can see that it starts to sculpt the face a little bit more. So we'll come up and pull that needle right by the eye and then pick up the end where we started, giving it a little bit of a pull, get the fur out of the way, and then go ahead and tie off those threads. And you can see here how that pulls and starts to form the face. And we'll do a couple of knots to make sure it stays on nice and firm. And then now that we've got one eye in place, we'll go ahead and do the other eye. And he's really getting a lot of character now. Now that both eyes are sewn on and the nose is in place, I wanna give him a little haircut so that you can see his face. So I'm using a pin to pull away any extra fur that might've gotten caught in the buttons or around the nose. And you wanna take your time with this and just pull all that fur out. Make sure that you see those eyes. And then go ahead and trim. Trim a little at a time and pull away the fur as you go. And uh, you can always trim off more. The less you do at first, the better because you can't put it back on. So trim a little at a time and you'll have a cute little face. The final part is to do the ladder stitch. This is sewing the back closed. I'm going to begin by placing the needle anywhere in the back and then I'm gonna take a few stitches and these stitches will lock down my thread. And then I can just give this tail a pull and clip it off at the very end. Now what I'm trying to do is take a stitch from one side of the opening and then go to the other side and take another stitch. It's a little hard to see exactly what I'm doing on the furry fabric that I have here. So I'm gonna switch over to another bear just so that you can see this a little bit better. Now you can see that I'm taking one stitch on one side of the seam and then another stitch on the other side of the seam. And you can see the stitches form a ladder and that's why this is called a ladder stitch. Now I'll sew this all the way up the back of the bear and then give a nice pull on my thread, lock down the stitches again, and then put the needle anywhere again through the back of the bear and then clip that thread. And then I have a nice seam right up the back of my plushie. And here's my new little friend. I hope these tips help you in making your new friend. Check us out on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like this video, leave a comment below.